feeling good so far coming into the season. Um, guys are competing hard. Uh, there's a lot of competition at every position, goalie, midfield, um, and attack. Coming into the fall, I was real excited, and ending last season losing guys is always something I, I don't stop thinking about. And then once fall hits, um, you realize like there's guys that know they need to step up and guys that know that they, they need to fill those roles that are gone. Um, so they, that factor is, is now out of my mind and the right guys are stepping up. So coming into the season, feeling really good and ready to go. We feel like we have the pieces in place to, you know, to be successful, to com compete for the, the CAA championship, uh, to compete for the you know, NCAA tournament berth. Um, so we're really excited, but we do need some guys to step up um, and increase their roles and change some roles and really some guys to step up on both ends of the field. Losing Nick Trezano and Ben McIntosh and Jared uh, Fugereau definitely hurts. It's a lot of points, but uh, there's been some guys that have stepped up. Michael Kay at the midfield from California along with Jake O'Donnell will probably get some time in attack. Um, even guys that have been here before, uh, Jake Gonzalez, TJ Foley, you know, Mitch DeSnu, everybody's kind of embracing the role that they have to take this year. Losing, you know, not just the kind of the headliners and, and Ben and Triz, but Houch and, and Matt Dusek and Jason Clunder, you know, captain. We'll miss those guys. We'll miss that class. We'll miss their production. We'll miss their leadership. Uh, we'll miss their personality. That class had a lot of personality. Um, but this team has to, you know, they have to make their own uh, personality. Um, they have to figure out who they're going to be and what they're going to be. Obviously, we're going to put a lot of that on Ryan and Nick. Um, but there's other guys that have to step up and be the heart and soul and the leaders and the vocal guys and the, the also the lacrosse. You know, th there's guys that gotta have to go out there and stop guys on the defensive end and guys that have to go out there and get ground balls and guys that have to go out there and, and get assists and score goals. So we need guys to step into those voids left by those guys. But we're going to ask Nick to be a really, uh, a really good player for us. We're going to ask Ryan to be very productive, uh, be one of the best players in the league. Um, you know, both of those guys have the opportunity to be, you know, individually All-American type players and All-Conference type players and, you know, as good as any player in our league. So um, we're going to ask a lot of them, um, you know, lacrosse-wise, skill-wise, but also a lot of leadership and, and they've uh, risen to the task so, so far. After four years, I've, I've witnessed uh, a whole bunch of great captains, um, learn as much as I could from them. and. And even junior and sophomore year, you got to step up before you become a captain, and we respect those guys. We're trying to lead by example and, and let Coach Volker kind of take over. But uh, trying to just trying to lead the younger guys and show them how we were brought up with, with the great senior classes that we've had and kind of uh, put it all together. More pressure this year, but just more people looking up to you, and it's, it's something I'm, I'm used to. I mean, Ryan know how to handle. I mean, our goals, again, every year since I've been here have been the same. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to win the CAA conference, we're trying to be the best team in the conference, uh, and we're trying to make it to the NCAA tournament. Um, obviously, once you get there, you want to win games in the NCAA tournament, but we have, to, we have to get there, and that's a lot, you know, we got a lot of hard work. You know, I think our kids want to play good teams and want to play against the best. To be able to get a team like Maryland on the schedule, I think that's a great thing for our kids. Um, now the big thing is we got to survive that stuff. Um, and. You know, it's not just those guys. Are, I mean, our first, you know, whatever, four or five games are going to be a bear, um, and we have to be able to, you know, buck up and survive that and win some games. These first four games are going to be a huge test for us, um, playing the top teams in the ACC and Big Ten. So uh, I think it'll be great for us, win or lose. We realize that it's a process and that, you know, the season's long, but we can, we can take a lot of good and bad out of each game we play. Always tough games, but... Uh... Definitely, I think, helps us in the end to see it in the beginning. Our conference is going to be a bear. I don't know who's going to end up first and who's going to end up sixth. And if you, you know, if you told me one was going to be one and one was going to be six, any of those, I mean, I wouldn't be that surprised, to be quite honest with you. Um, our, our conference is always a, a tough, you know, roll up your sleeves, you know, figure out how to get wins kind of conference. Um, and it's going to be more of the same this year. The CAA, top to bottom, every team seems like a rivalry, to be honest. Uh, nobody likes each other. I mean, all the games are close. We crash when we play these teams, and we have respect for each other. Um, but at the same time, I think that the, the intensity in the CAA and the, the playing level is just, is just higher than most conferences. And, and, uh, we go at it every year. You're gonna to have to make your own breaks um, and, and really fight and scratch and claw to, you know, to win this thing. Winning the CAA and then going to the NCAA tournament is an awesome experience. You know, being the first to kind of break through that door for the Drexel program is huge. And um, in terms of this year, I've realized like you just gotta be consistent every day. 
you know, everybody's working hard, but you just got to bring it every day. Because we had success last year, it doesn't guarantee us anything this year. Um, that's the mindset that we've been trying to go into. We feel like, you know, we're, we're going to have the pieces in place to compete, to be one of the better teams in the country, um, and we're going to roll up our sleeves and try to do that stuff, and we hope that the fans come out and support us and make this a, a, a still a really tough place to play. Um, you know, nobody likes to come to West Philly and, and play here in Dragonland. It's the only goal that I have right now as a senior, you know, to get another ring. We know what it feels like now, and we, we want it again. Um, we want to win the CA championship again, and we want to make it to the NCAA championship even more now that we've already felt it. And we're trying our best to relay that to the younger guys that, that didn't experience it last year, that, hey, work twice as hard, you know, put in twice as much effort, and we can get there like we did last year. And uh, we're just twice as hungry, I think, now to, to do it again.